scientists have successfully 3D printed living human brain tissues for the first time. Researchers from the Suzumori Endo Robotics Laboratory at the Tokyo Institute of Technology are developing robots with muscles and organs that completely mimic those of humans. The Perseverance rover is likely to find signs of life on Mars, and within the next 10 years, the results of the search for extraterrestrial life will be known. The Chinese maglev train set a speed record in a vacuum tube, reaching an incredible speed of 623 kilometers per hour, as well as the successful completion of the first phase of flight tests of the latest aero taxi, Midnight. These and other high-tech news are featured in one video. Meet Roboy, a humanoid robot capable of riding his bicycle and selling ice cream. At the current stage of development, Roboy can already recognize people and engage in simple conversations. Soon, he will be able to play the xylophone, a particularly challenging task for robots due to the required dynamics. Roboy expresses his emotions through laser projections on his face. He can smile, frown, express surprise, or be shy. Stereoscopic cameras are responsible for the robot's vision. The neck has three degrees of freedom. The body, consisting of 18 modular motor blocks, contains eight microphones for listening to people, and numerous LEDs. The Roboy robot was built using EOS, 3D printing technology, and the project researchers continue to develop its muscles, joints, and electronics, striving to improve the models until their agility, reliability, and flexibility become comparable to humans. Further developments are being carried out in the laboratory in Frankfurt, where the Roboy team is working on functional legs that will allow him to walk, as well as on artificial intelligence, so that one day he can engage in meaningful conversations. Scientists have successfully 3D printed living human brain tissues for the first time. Researchers from the University of Wisconsin-Madison printed tissues of the brain's cortex and striatum on a 3D printer. These living cell assemblies grow and function like real tissues. However, they are not intended for transplantation, but for studying the functions of the human brain and various neurological disorders. Researchers say the secret to their success lies in the special density of bioinks and horizontal printing, which allows cells to receive oxygen and nutrients. This 3D printed brain model will help study various neurological diseases and pathologies of the nervous system, including Alzheimer's and Parkinson's diseases. Professor of Neurobiology and Neurology at the Weizmann Center, Su Chun Zhang, says it will allow scientists to understand how cells and parts of the brain interact in humans. He believes that the achievement of his team will change the scientific view on stem cell biology, neurobiology, and the pathogenesis of many neurological and psychiatric disorders. Researchers at the Suzumori Endo Robotics Laboratory at the Tokyo Institute of Technology have a different take on robotics in the form of a musculoskeletal robot that moves like a human. Essentially, a fake skeleton covered in a bunch of cables, the musculoskeletal robot is powered by artificial multifilament muscles that function like real human muscles when electrical current flows through them. Basically, the fake muscles can contract and expand similar to a real human's movements thanks to the electrical current, even enabling the skeleton's head to move around realistically. The muscle bands are controlled by an electric current, allowing the fibers to contract like human muscles. At the moment, the Suzumori endo-humanoid can't support itself, but the robot's legs do contain the exact same number of muscles that a real human being's legs use to walk. The researchers hope that as technology advances and the musculoskeletal robot progresses, it will eventually be able to walk on its own and self-balance, similar to the Atlas robot. It is highly likely that NASA's Perseverance rover could detect signs of life on Mars. The Perseverance rover, which landed in the Jezero crater in February 2021, made a crucial discovery in Mars exploration using its ground-penetrating radar. The rover detected layers of deposits that once belonged to a massive lake, later becoming part of a giant river delta. If there was ever life on Mars, its traces are likely preserved in these deposits. Once the geological samples collected by Perseverance return to Earth, scientists will be able to confirm this. However, this will not happen before 2033. To return the precious cargo to Earth, the Perseverance rover will await the arrival of a landing module being developed by the European Space Agency. This module will be a spacecraft with a small rocket, into which the rover will load all the collected rock and soil samples. It will then launch from Mars and deliver this cargo to orbit, where it will be transferred to the ESA's orbiter for return to Earth. Initially, NASA planned to launch the orbiter in 2026, but the date was later postponed to 2028, meaning the sample will not return to Earth before 2033. NASA's Perseverance rover is a key part of the agency's Mars 2020 mission, with a budget of $2.7 billion. Oriheim-D is an avatar robot developed by Ori Laboratory. 
Using this robot, persons who are teleworking will be able to do physical work such as remote customer service and carrying things. This robot is equipped with a camera, microphones, and speakers. Pilots can communicate with people in far distance by remote controlling robots via the internet. This robot has forward, backward, and swivel movement capabilities. In addition, the upper body has 14 built-in motors, so this robot can grab and carry simple objects and play various motions. Oriheim's purpose is to be a vessel that empowers people who have difficulty going outside or moving due to severe disabilities or illnesses such as ALS to connect with everyday society and people within. Since 2018, people with disabilities have taken up opportunities to work as cafe staff through Oriheim in the pop-up cafe Avatar Cafe Dawn version beta. Archer has completed the first phase of flight tests of its air taxi, Midnight. This advanced electric aircraft seems poised to revolutionize urban air travel after successfully undergoing unmanned mode testing. If all goes according to plan, crewed flights are expected to begin by the end of 2024, with the company aiming to obtain model certification and launch commercial operations by 2025. Analysts appear divided on the company's prospects, giving Archer only a 50% chance of success. But Archer seems optimistic as they are already preparing for certification tests under the Federal Aviation Administration FAA program. These preliminary tests are crucial to prepare the air taxi for the critical flight suitability examination, without which commercial launch is not feasible. Judging from the company's released video, the Archer Midnight Air Taxi is already impressive in its capabilities. During the first phase of testing, the aircraft successfully took off, landed, and performed basic maneuvers. However, the most significant transition to horizontal flight with rotor rotation at the leading edge of the wings is yet to be tested. If all goes smoothly, the Archer Midnight Air Taxi promises to revolutionize short urban flights with a range of 30 to 80 kilometers. With a full charge, the aircraft can cover up to 160 kilometers at speeds of up to 241 kilometers per hour, accommodating up to four passengers. Canadian YouTuber from the I Build Stuff channel has created something incredible, a handleless wireless umbrella. Essentially, it's a flying umbrella drone that is controlled by a remote control. For this unique project, the YouTuber used a regular umbrella, a flight controller, a GPS module, a soldering iron, metal pipes, motors, and of course, a 3D printer to print the drone's body. After assembling all the components purchased on Amazon, the YouTuber attached an umbrella hat to the drone, turning it into a quadcopter umbrella. Currently, this prototype can only fly based on commands from the remote and cannot autonomously follow the user, but a second version with special sensors that will track the user's head and automatically control the umbrella is already in the works. The YouTuber has not disclosed the cost of creating this wonder umbrella yet, but if the experiment is successful, he plans to launch his invention on crowdfunding platforms. It is worth noting that the umbrella has a couple of drawbacks. It cannot be folded for convenience, and it is not yet clear how it will behave in strong winds. The Chinese maglev in a vacuum tube has achieved a record-breaking speed, exceeding 623 km per hour. The Chinese defense contractor Kasik has announced a significant breakthrough in developing a high-speed magnetic levitation train. Exact figures are classified, but it's known that the train first achieved stable magnetic levitation while traveling along a 2-kilometer test track inside a vacuum tube. According to the official report, the test demonstrated the system's readiness and laid a solid technical foundation for future high-speed trials and the construction of a national maglev train network. The trial results surpassed the previous record for superconducting maglev trains in an air-filled tunnel, 623 km per hour, set in October last year, as reported by SCMP. A month earlier, under similar conditions, a prototype reached 234 km per hour on a track just 380 meters long. The speed attained in the latest tests has not been disclosed by the Chinese. Write in the comments what you liked most after watching this video. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to the Caro Show channel. Also check out our previous videos. See you next time.